This is downtown Yuma. That's the it's a cross section right there of the streets. So let's go ahead and walk a little bit. This is a historic building, Lee Hotel. I don't know anything about it, so I'm not gonna try to lie to you guys and act like I know the history of this hotel. I know that there's something something ha something that has to do with the Goen. This guy named Goen. That's as much as I know. I guess he bought all these like buildings. So here it is. Let's see. Lee Hotel has been placed on the National Register of Historical Places. Located at the terminus of Main Street, the building with its simple uh, planes and side arches is an early version of Spanish colonial revival. Interesting. The hotel is an important structure in its role, a landmark in historic downtown. You mother building relatively unchanged contributes to the historic Main Street district in its uh, scale and siding. I think this is interesting. Spanish colonial revival. This is an interesting building right over here. That, this is a beautiful building. I mean, I don't mean to be mean or anything, but that's an ugly building. There's a beautiful building right here. Going Company, right? There's, there's a guy going again. I think there's a statue right over here. This is the post office, by the way, I think. Beautiful building. So the going company, I think there's a statue of him over here. Nice. Look at that, it's beautiful right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at that statue. Look at this grass. That's beautiful nice place to have like a I mean I guess they do receptions and stuff like that like looks like you could rent it out maybe for parties is that Mr. Goin? Yeah. Recordando a Brian Recordando a Brian oh this is not Goin this is Brian Brian o, Brian O'Dwyer O'Dwyer however you say it whatever whatever it says in 1994, Brian came. Oh snap! That's it's not that long ago. 1994, Brian came to go to go in to build a business in Mexico that would provide growth and opportunity for the company and his employees. Walking the fields with farmers, Brian and his tribe were men with muddy boots. They identified crop protection solutions that would create productivity and prosperity for their customers. They nurtured the reputation of his young enterprise by leaving distinctive signs in customers' fields displaying the calidad going. Interesting. Logo to promote its on target technology. Well, that's interesting. After 18 years and 20 fold growth, Brian retired from a respected business based on customer trust and loyalty. Okay, that's enough. So, this is a bit of historical information right here. Over 50 years ago, a field entomologist in Yuma, Arizona, started a business to help growers manage pest problems. That business has grown into a global agricultural enterprise that develops, manufactures, and markets farm inputs such as seed, fertilizer, and crop protection products. Still family-owned and headquartered in Yuma, the Going Group sells its products and services in all of the major agricultural regions of the world. Go grow Goen has made hundreds of contributions to agricultural productivity and will continue to support our farmers as they work tirelessly to feed a growing global population. Well, that's interesting. Oh, these are all the buildings that Goen has purchased. Interesting. So let's continue walking. Walking through downtown.
what is that the Aztec calendar right there oh look going it's all about going So we got uh, facials, lash lifts, makeup, lash tints, waxing, and so forth. So this is a nice downtown. Not to talk smack, but in comparison to Calexico's downtown. Good morning. Hi. Hi. In comparison to, to Calexico's downtown, this is 100% better. Quiet in the morning, right? Not a, not a lot going on. Dia de los Muertos, right there. The Crest. So they have like comedy shows here. So this is the boys right here. It's a good place to eat. Then we got that brewing company right there. That's also a good place to eat. Visitor Information Center. United Building North. And that, there, there are a lot of businesses here. Yuma Theater, wow. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers? November 9th? The Yuma Art Center and Historic Theater. Well, that's interesting. Wait, oh, it's a tribute. It's not really Tom Petty. Boring. Good, that's a nice doggy. Oh, it's a beautiful doggy. What's his name? Lonely. Oh, it's a girl. Lolly? Lonely. Oh, lonely. <laughs> she looks, she's, yeah, I'm recording her. She's she's so nice. Look at the That is cool.
the Yuma National Bank. Oh, look at the Children's Museum right here. Sanguinetti General Merchandise, 1900. Brainly Historic District. Interesting. There's a nice old building right here. Yuma National Bank. Ooh, so nice, look at, oh, voting, you could vote here, man, that's so cool, you could go in there and have a little coffee, Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Do you want to vote? Excuse me? Do you want to vote? I, I vote in California. Okay. Yeah. Good. But I'm going to vote. Who are you going for? I'm going for Trump. You want a speaker? Heck yeah. <laughs> Can I record you? Because I'm just uh, I'm filming. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm doing like a video of that downtown. Oh, sure. Go ahead. What do you want to say? So, well, what do you want to say? So everybody needs to get out and vote early. Tr Donald Trump, our President Trump, wants us all to get out and vote early so that on election day, if shenanigans happen, you're already done with your vote. Perfect. Awesome. Do you guys want to say anything? Because I know you guys from the, are from the Harris camp, right? You guys, could, you guys could say that's fine. You guys could talk. We also want everyone okay. to get out and vote early. Okay. Vote Harris and the Democrats up and down the ticket. Okay, cool. Anything else? No. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Thank you. I, li I like that hat. Well, Trump Force 47 is a group that um, uh -huh. the Republican Party has put together across the United States. They want us to door knock, they want us to phone call. I'm electioneering today down here, trying to get people to vote Trump. We have golden tickets in the Arizona that help people choose the candidate, and then the proposals on the, our propositions on the back. Okay. So that's my that's what I'm doing today. Okay. So tell tell us why why do you th why are you so like passionate about Trump? Because I have grandkids. Okay. I don't want my granddaughter to be in a bathroom with a boy. I don't want. Uh, my grandson to have some girl walk in, because that could be crazy too, right? Our cat, or a dog, or whatever they decide to be. I go into the grocery store, and when I shop, I get anxiety, even though I can afford the groceries I'm buying. And I think of people who are, who can't afford it. They just can't afford their groceries, and they have kids. You know, it breaks my heart. Okay. So that's why I'm passionate about Trump. We need to have something change, or we're gonna, our, our young generation isn't going to be able to survive. Okay. So that's what I got. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm going to ask them if they want to show why they're passionate okay. about. So I, I have a question. So uh, um, I asked her why she's passionate about Trump. Why are you passionate about Harris? Because I'm passionate about democracy. About democracy? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's it? Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. You do the same. Um, if, if you want to go to the YouTube channel? Yes.
we want to go to the YouTube channel. I'm oh, going to oh, give it to I... my boss down the road. Oh, cool. I might click. If you need road signs or anything like this for your house, I don't know how you feel about it, but you go down to the roundabout mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Right there. Okay. This one's within the 75 foot limit. Oh, I don't know who did that. I don't know. If that, this Thank you. Oh, that's the okay, it's interesting. <laughs> Nothing can be past that line. Okay. It's a rule. You can't I can't walk over there at, with anything up. if I was voting today as a as a person of the state of Arizona, yeah. I could wear Trump shirt on, whatever. But as a somebody that's promoting this, uh, I have to be seventy five feet away from the thing. So okay. there's a sign here, there's a sign there, and there's one across the street. I yeah, that's it right there. I know, but I can't get it. I can't get out of that. No. What I was listening to on the way here. Here, go ahead and put it in there. Okay, so let's see if we come out of it. Let's change it, probably. Oh, there it is. That's me. Yeah, I'm going to so, send it to my boss when you post it. But if you go down there, you can talk to Melba, too. She'll help you. She'll give oh, something. perfect. Awesome. So, so I, I just subscribed. That, okay. that, that's me right there. Okay. And I should be posting it soon. Okay. Like to earlier, like in a bit. Whatever. We'll go to Starbucks and then... Uh, yeah, at least pick this coffee shop uh, is really cute, too. Okay, like I see. This coffee it. shop is very... Not me. Okay, perfect. Like I won't, I won't walk in there with any of my stuff on. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go finish out the video over there, okay. and then, I, and then. And they usually show up okay. at about nine. Okay. So what time is it right now? It's quarter till. Okay, perfect. So. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Good morning.